In this video, I'm going to be building an AI influencer, then I'm going to be buying her between 10 to 20,000 fake followers. Then we're going to be seeing if it's possible to use and leverage those fake followers to somehow make money online. We're going to be building an AI influencer account and see if it's possible to leverage the followers on the account to get some sponsorships and brand deals. We're not going to be taking the brand deals, but I still want to see if it's possible to even get a paid brand deal after spending only like $20 buying some followers. So what is an AI influencer? Well, it sounds exactly like what it is. It's an account on Instagram where the person that's showcasing their life isn't actually real and is 100% AI. So basically, we're going to be creating an AI personality and posting a bunch of pictures of her on Instagram so we can get some brand deals and get paid from some companies. But we're going to be adding an extra step because we're going to be giving her fake followers to make sure that those brand deals want to sign with us and treat us to some pretty high checks. And I know what you're thinking. No way. These brands are way too small. They will never fall for fake Instagram followers. Well, apparently 49% of all influencers on Instagram have bought fake followers. And that includes the likes of Katy Perry, the Kardashians, Chris Brown, and Miley Cyrus, to say the least, with about 33% of their followers being fake. Okay, so I just created a new Instagram account right now. And so we need to put some content on the account so that, you know, brands want to work with I actually think a lot of brands are going to be happy with this proposition. I mean, think about it. If you're a brand, who would you rather pick? A normal influencer or an AI influencer who can do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want, and they never run the risk of getting canceled or having you know questionable opinions and i think if i sell the idea of ai influences like that to a brand they could potentially side with us and give us a brand deal or but two before we even get to that point we first need to get taken seriously and so we're going to need to gain some followers now the right thing to do and what i would do in the future if i wasn't running low on time is i would just go ahead and just start growing this account by posting a bunch of ai influencer pictures but in the sake of time and the fact that i don't want to spend three weeks making this video i'm going to go ahead now and get some fake followers just to speed up this process. And so because of that, I'm going to go into this website called Fame State. We went onto a website called famestate.com. The sponsors of today's video. We literally went onto the website, clicked on add funds. I clicked the Stripe option because Stripe's a trustworthy company and I could get a quick refund if this didn't work. I clicked on the $20 option because that's all we need to get some decent fake followers. Then we clicked pay, plugged in our credit card details, and then we had $20 added onto the website. Then we clicked on this Instagram followers here, chose this option. We added the link to our Instagram page over here, buying 10 10,000 followers, which came out to about $8, click submit, and we finally got 10,000 fake followers. We also coupled it with like 200 to 500 likes per post on each post. The only problem I will admit was the comment section, like we had a bunch of almost inauthentic comments, but I'm pretty sure most brands won't even check the comment section, to be honest. If you guys want to buy the followers for yourself, the link will be in the description. They're pretty cheap, if you ask me. But now that we had the AI Instagram influencer, and now we had the Instagram account figured out, it was now time to actually generate some cash from this and get some goddamn them brand deals and you won't believe this but after following a couple of celebrities on the account and just being active on the account we received a couple of dms from companies but these were the normal affiliate ambassador links and not what we actually wanted what i wanted was to actually get a paid instagram brand deal and i could just sit around for weeks on end waiting for a brand deal to come around or i could just be proactive and go ahead and dm and email some of these brands about our ai influencer talking about the benefits of using this account and so that's exactly what i so, did okay. so I'm gonna go email and then DM a couple of brands to test a couple of things. First thing, I wanna test if brands even wanna work with an AI influencer. I think they should if we pitch this correctly. And then secondly, I wanna test if brands would even check if we have real or fake followers. I mean, if they don't check if we have real or fake followers, then that is a massive issue. I mean, think about it. We've spent $20 getting 10,000 followers. And if we charge like $200 for a brand deal, we've immediately made like what? $150, $180 in profit in literally a day. And if we were unethical, we would literally capitalize but on Basically, that. I think most of these guys will check if we have fake followers, but I wonder how many people would check and how many people okay, would know. So I started DMing a ton of Instagram brands, some of the bigger brands like Fashion Nova, and also some of the smaller brands that sold jewelry and other women's products. We sent a ton of emails and the template from these emails was pretty simple. We basically sold the idea of an AI influencer being better than a normal influencer, much more efficient, being able to get the job done in literally 24 hours and with none of the hassle. And initially, this pitch didn't work. Basically, a lot of these brands didn't want to work with us. And I thought that this was because they could tell that we had a bunch of fake followers. But I realized that actually that was not the case. People wanted to work with the AI influencer account, but they just didn't want to work with a micro AI influencer because I guess we just didn't have enough followers for us to be worth their time. And so we just bought 50,000 more followers, bumping up our follower account from 12,000 to now 60,000. We also bought tens of thousands of likes, sending about 12 different emails to different online brands without finished 
massive Instagram account. In three days, about 20 emails have been sent and we have gotten zero conversions, no brand deals so far. And I don't think it's because these brands have figured out we have fake followers. I think it's because I'm overcharged. My media kit, which is basically how much I try to charge these brands, is about $500 for a picture post. So maybe I should decrease that from $500 to maybe $150 and then see if we can actually fool these brands into giving us a contract. So yeah, my last bet is decreasing my prices. And I think 60,000 followers and $150 for a picture that post. is a no-brainer and any brand would say yes to that. So in order to entice these brands to actually give us their money, we had to decrease the prices. And literally, we sent another couple of dozens of emails basically saying, hey, we can promote your restaurant, we can promote your jewelry brand, we can promote your company for only $150. And we knew this was going to work because, I mean, this is an absolute no-brainer if you are a brand. I mean, usually 60,000 follower accounts charge thousands of dollars we were charging 150 and not even long after making that decision okay so we literally just convinced this brand to give us 300 dollars for an image post actually we didn't even convince them after sending out email they immediately came back with like an offer so that's kind of crazy we didn't even have to negotiate so they literally offered us 300 real dollars for zero real followers but the thing is if they just checked if the followers were real or not just literally spent 10 seconds checking they would immediately be able to tell that our followers weren't actually real but they didn't check. And most brands won't check. And considering it only cost us $100 to get like 50,000 fake followers, and we could potentially make $300 if we take this brand deal, we just could potentially make $200 in profit. So if you're a brand on Instagram, this should be one lesson you should take from this video. Check if the followers are real, because they might not be, and you could potentially be throwing money away, which I think most of them are. And now there's only one type of person still watching this it's video. It's someone who thinks they could run their own pseudo follower business. You could definitely make a lot of money doing this. The only problem is it would be fraud and you'd probably end up in jail so um unless you want to end up in jail maybe don't do this anyway watch this video to see another cool way we probably made money online